Now, an investigation by The Times has revealed today that the UK government has agreed a second migration deal with Rwanda. This is separate to the controversial deportation scheme. Asylum seekers who've had their claims to stay in the UK refused will be offered £3,000 if they volunteer to move to Rwanda. They would also be entitled to assistance from the Rwandan government, paid for by the UK, of course. New arrivals would get a house to live in for up to five years, as well as integration programmes to help them study and undertake training and work in their new home country. The government has not set a date for when this second Rwanda scheme will begin, and they haven't put a figure on the number of people they hope will choose this option. However, because it's a voluntary programme, it's not dependent on the main Rwanda bill being approved by Parliament. And here's something most people didn't know. A version of this voluntary scheme already exists. Failed asylum seekers can already get financial assistance worth up to £3,000 to return to their country of origin. And get this, last year, around 19,000 rejected asylum seekers decided to take the money and head home. But this new Rwanda deal will be the first time unsuccessful asylum seekers would be paid to leave the UK without going back to their country of origin. People who don't wish to volunteer for this new plan will remain left in limbo here in the UK, unable to officially work or claim benefits and without accommodation. The safety of Rwanda bill is back in the House of Commons on Monday, and Rishi Sunak has promised, of course, to get those Rwanda flights off the ground before the summer. A report by the National Audit Office found that under the main plan, the UK government will pay Rwanda, are you ready, £171,000 for each migrant relocated to the African country. And that is in addition to the £370 million in other costs. You can't make this stuff up. This new idea could be, though, a get-out-of-jail-free card for Rishi. Should the main scheme fail, Rishi has committed himself to getting migrants to Rwanda, and this second deal is a possible way of achieving this, even if the deportation scheme again is stalled or blocked by the courts. It would therefore allow the Prime Minister to save face and argue that the original deal agreed with Kelak Kigali is not a total waste of money, and, of course, he'd win that £1,000 bet with Piers Morgan. With all of this in mind, we're asking that question, does the government have any credibility left on immigration. The lines are now open, 0344 499 1000. And tell me what you think of this new scheme. And did you even know a scheme such as this already existed?